Alright, hello, how y'all doing? Um, coming to you guys with a um, mini mouse tool. Um, it's a costume for a young lady that um wanted to make it, make it for her for um Halloween. So these are the materials that I use. Um, Alright, so um these are the materials that I use. I went to Hobby Lobby and purchased this um roll. And it's basically like the little um, headband stretchy thing. And I measured it out. The young lady, she wears a size 14, so I measured it out to what I needed it to be. Um, so this is that right here. To seal it off, I sewed it with needle and thread. And I went with a red thread, something that I matched this so you wouldn't be able to see it. But basically, I sewed the two ends. I overlapped it and then I sold it. So you can't see it because I did red, of course. Alright, so that was the first step. So I got that. The next thing I did was I had got some felt from um, the La Sheets from Hobby Lobby as well. And I got the kind of more stiffer kind, not the looser ones, more like a regular sheet. Um, and I took a little can and I made with a, a can and a marker. And I drew the little circles on the back of my felt and I cut it around the circles. And this is what I have. I have a bunch of little circles. And I'm going to put it on the sparkly side. This side is more flat. And you can see the black little lines from the marker that I didn't get up. So I'm going to use the shiny little sparkly side. So I have a whole stack of these. I also bought a roll of ribbon in a Minnie Mouse color. And I'm going to put this across the top of it once I'm finally done with it. And next thing I brought was some red too that I got from Hobby Lobby as well and this one here is 25 yards um so far I only cut up two um yards of it I mean um 50 yards of it and I cut it into strips of I measured it 42 42 length is what I measured that and cut and I'm gonna combine them together so that it gives me 21 length going down. So I'm gonna overlap it and see. Alright, so that is that. So I made a whole bunch of those, got those pre-ready for me. Um I use this a chair or a stool or something. And I'm gonna show y'all. I got my little stool. And I'm gonna put my band around this stool. And I also got brought in a um crochet needle. And this is a number six, the J hook. And I'm gonna see if that's gonna help me with get me through to, to start off. I'm just going to even both of my tails out. And I'm going to, let me see if I can reposition the camera. And I'm just putting my hook through, put my hook around my uh, material, and I'm pulling it through. And before I put my, I'm going to pull it through again. So now that I pulled it through two times, I have 
one on my hook right here and I have another one on my hook there. And I'm gonna put that one that's on my hook, the closest to the hook part. I'm gonna pull this piece of the material through this side. And that's gonna be, and then I can take my hook off. And then we're gonna pull the rest of the tool through. can turn the camera around so y'all can get a better image of what I just did. Let me see, take it off. So I'm just turn the camera. All right, so let's see. So I'm going to do it again so I can show y'all again. And I'm going to try to hold the camera right here so y'all can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm grabbing another piece of tool, another strip of it, and I'm gonna space it out because she don't want it to be puffy because she's wearing this to work. So like I said, I'm gonna make sure that it's even on the tips of it. Then I'm gonna grab my hook. And I'm going to put my hook through first. So you wouldn't want to really do it from the first line. You want to start from like this one here. So I'm going to put my hook through this one right here. And I'm going to put my... And I'm going to put the material around there and I'm going to pull it through that hole. And then I'm going to put my hook back through the top hole. And I'm going to put some more material on there. And pull back out through the top hole. And I have two, this one here and this one here. And I'm going to pull that material through that last one on the hook, the one that's the furthest from the hook. If I can get it to do right. So I'm going to hold on to this back one and pull the front one through. I'm going to remove my hook once I get it through. Put my hook down. And I'm pulling the, t the long piece of the tool through. Like I said, I'm going to put the spaces in between, so I'm going to go like about an inch and a half, every inch and a half, and I'm going to put one on there, and I'm going to do that all the way around, and then I'm going to just go back through it and fill it in once I see what the results is at the end. So I will come back once I get some of it done, and then I come back to it. All right, just doing some fill-ins. She don't want it thick at all, so I'm not going to do too many. Gonna kind of just go through and find some pockets I want to fill in, but it's pretty much even all the way around. So, okay. Let's so just use the remaining of the two and a half. So all I used was. The 50 yards is all I needed. So I'm going to wind up returning so I can get some of her money back. Because I'm only charging her $15 plus the cost of material. So she might wind up only paying about $25 in total for the whole skirt. 
and I have my hot glue gun already heated up, ready for me to um, put my white little dots on. So, like I said, it was an easy project. Nothing hard about this project at all. looking for any more wider open caps. If I have at least about eight more strips of this tool left. So, so like I say, I'm going through this from the top. You're going to see a few different holes. I'm just going through this second hole first and then when I pull so I'm put my hook through the second hole first. Then I'm gonna pull my tool through from the back end. And then when I put my hook in again, I'm gonna go to the top um, hole that's on the left hand side. And I'm gonna wrap my tool around that part again and pull it back through again one more time. And then I'm going to separate both of those little pieces, one in here. And I'm gonna pull the one that's closest to the hook through the one that's this way, the farthest way. And then I'm gonna just, you know, pull it up some, take my hook off, and go ahead and finish pulling it through. And just, you know, tighten it up by pulling on it. And that's how you put them on. Extremely easy. So, half it up my ribbon, fold it in half evenly. Put my finger through with a halfway mark at. Let's stick my finger through. Grab my hook. Put my hook through my second hook. My second hole like, on my second row. From the, my second row from the top. Put my tool through on my hook. Take the hook. Put it through the top left. And then I'm going to wrap some tool around that hook. I'm going to pull that through that hole that I just came through, the top left, and then I'm going to separate both of those little pieces. I got one and two, separate both of those, and pull the, the piece that's closest to the hook through the other piece, and then just pull through. And I'll be back when I completely finish this and put, get ready to put on my white polka dots. All right, so now I'm putting on my white dots on the skirt. So I just lift the skirt up off the ground and put my stool on top of my table. So I'm just going to take and put some hot glue onto the back. And place it on, grab a piece of tool, lift it up, and place it on. And I just do that in random spots around the skirt. And I don't even apply a lot. Just a 
And I'll come back when I'm finished and I'm ready to put the other ribbon on.